Russell model. Russell model. Russell is an upgraded version of Russell with higher accuracy. Russell is an equation that estimates average annual soil loss by sheet and real erosion on those areas where erosion but not deposition is occurring. Advantages of Russell Expanded information on soil erodibility A slope length factor that varies with soil susceptibility to real erosion Improved factor values for the effect of contouring, terracing, strip cropping and management practices for rangeland And a sub-factor method for computing for the cover management factor Russell and GIS. One of the advantages of disadvantages of erosion models is low availability of un input data. The conventional methods are reliable and accurate, but too expensive and time-consuming. With the help of remote sensing and GIS, soil erosion modeling can be fast and cheap on a large scale of territory. Equation of Russell. So this is the equation of Russell. A indicates the value of soil erosion or soil loss and it consists of five factors or parameters or uh, indicators R, K, L, S, C and P. A is annual average soil loss measured in tons per hectare for year. Re R is a rainfall eros erosivity factor measured in megajoules, millimeters, hectares, hours for each year. K is the soil erodibility, measures the value of level of soil loss uh, in tons for a certain area uh, to the ratio of rainfall erosivity factor. L a slope length and steepness factor, which is unitless. C uh, is a land cover factor, uh, is from 0 to 1. And P is a conservation practice factor, is also from 0 to 1. So this is a... Uh, uh, model general model of Russell uh, don't be freaked out actually it's not uh, very uh, uh, complicated uh, to grasp so on the top you can see that uh, input data uh, soil data uh, which um, according to which we derive k factor map and rainfall data according to which we derive r factor map and digital elevation model uh, which uh, is mostly used to derive uh, LS factor but also sometimes used to derive uh, P factor it means conservation practice factor and the Landsat image uh, not always Landsat actually it can be a sentinel or other image anyway though a satellite image according to which we can make a land cover or classification or uh, uh, we can derive a vegetation index such as NDVA and is uh, used for uh, to to derive uh, C factor map and P factor map and uh, at the end all these uh, five uh, fa factors or parameters are multiplied to each other and we ha have the um, A factor uh, which is the um, soil erosion rate uh, for each pixel for each area uh, for a certain year Hey guys, if you liked the video, please consider supporting the channel by purchasing online courses via my Udemy's profile, JS Lab. Here you can find multiple courses regarding JS remote sensing. The link to the profile is below.